Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is ORM and what are the advantages and disadvantages of ORM. And then I will explain one popular ORM that is SQL Alchemy. And then we will perform CRUD operations by using SQL Alchemy. CRUD operations mean creating database and creating table inside my database and reading, updating and deleting data which is present in my database. Guys, I have uploaded a complete Python programming subject tutorials. I will provide a link in the description you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. At first, I will explain what is ORM. ORM stands for Object Relational Mapper. Object is nothing but Python is object oriented programming language. So object is nothing but our Python program. And relational is nothing but relational database. What is relational database? Data which is stored in the form of tables is known as relational database. ORM is nothing but by using Python program, we are creating relational database. Normally, in order to create relational database, we need to learn structured query language. Shortly, we call it as SQL. But here, there is no need of learning SQL. Directly by using Python program itself, we can create relational database. This is definition of ORM. ORM provides a high level abstraction upon a relational database that allows a developer to write Python code instead of SQL. Instead of SQL, we can use Python code to create, read, update and delete data in the database. Directly by using Python code itself, we can create, read, update and delete data which is present in my database. Developers can use their comfortable programming language in order to work with database instead of writing SQL statements. This is example. By using Python object, we are creating relational database. Python object is nothing but Python program. Here inside students table, I want to insert name Nagendra, rule number 512A and section A. And similarly, I want to insert name Sai, rule number 513A and section that is section B. This is Python code in order to create this table. Here you need to take Python class. So class student, so I want to give name Nagendra, rule number 512A and section that is section A. And similarly, take class student and insert student table, I want to insert name Sai, rule number 513A and section that is section B. This is Python code in order to create this relational database. This is simple example. These are advantages of ORMs. And that first advantage is many of them don't know SQL. So there is no need of learning SQL. Directly by using Python program itself, you can perform various operations on database. So which will save our time. This is first advantage. Second advantage is ORM makes switching between various relational databases much easier because most functions remain same. For example, I want to shift from MySQL to PostgreSQL. So it is very easy to switch because most functions remain same. These are advantages of ORMs. Next I will explain disadvantages of ORMs. Because ORM is a different concept, in order to use an ORM, First, you should learn it, which learning something new and adjust can take time. That means, actually in order to create database and in order to perform various operations on database, you need to learn SQL. But what if you don't know SQL? If you don't know SQL, then you can use ORMs in order to create database and in order to perform various operations on database. But what if you don't know even ORMs too? So if you don't know ORMs, again you need to learn these ORMs. This is time taking process. This is first disadvantage. Second disadvantage is, for example, if you know SQL, then there is no need of using ORM because ORM will not provide much features when compared to SQL. It will take lot of time in order to configure ORM. This is third disadvantage. Not only SQL Alchemy, but also there are so many other Python ORM tools that are available. And that first one is Django, where Django is a great tool for building web applications rapidly. By using Django, we can create various web applications. Next one is Web2Py. Web2Py is an open source full stack Python framework for building fast, scalable, secure and data driven web applications. Open source mean we can download this Web2Py framework with free of cost in internet. And by using this Web2Py, we can create fast and secure web applications. SQL object and SQL alchemy, both are same. Both are object relational managers. Object relational managers are nothing but object is nothing but Python program. Relational is nothing but relational database. 
by using sql object and sql alchemy we can establish communication between python program and database these are popular orm tools for python this is definition of sql alchemy sql alchemy is a popular object relational mapper library for python sql alchemy is nothing but it is orm library for python that provides a set of high level apis to interact with relational databases such as postgresql mysql and sqlite this sql alchemy provides interface in order to interact with relational databases that is nothing but by using python we can interact with relational databases like we can interact with postgresql database mysql database and sqlite database by using python it allows developers to interact with databases in a way that's more pythonic that is nothing but we can interact with database by using python and whatever the code that we write this code is very simple and it is easier to maintain that code with sql alchemy you can define the structure of your database tables using python classes that mean by using python classes we can create database tables and then use these classes to perform crud operations on the data stored in the tables and by using this python classes we can also perform various operations on data which is present in database like we can create read update and delete data which is present in database the orm takes care of converting python operations into sql statements that can be executed by database by using orm we can convert python operations into sql statements that can be executed by database next i will explain sql alchemy program in order to perform crud operations crud mean create read update and delete now i will write python program in order to create strange database now inside this strange database we will insert strange table and inside this table we will insert some data read is nothing but reading data which is present in my table whatever the data that is present inside my table i want to see that data on my output screen this is meaning of read and next update is nothing but updating data which is present in my table and delete is nothing but deleting data which is present in my table i will write program in order to perform all these operations at first you need to import sql alchemy module so just write here from sql alchemy import create engine comma column comma integer comma string that mean at first this create engine function is used to create engine by using this engine we can connect to database and i want to create table the table contains three columns they are name rule number and section so i written here create engine comma by using column we can create columns inside column i want to insert name sai rule number 20 and section a where this sai and a are strings and similarly this 20 is integer value and similarly inside table i want to insert column integer value and string value so i written here column comma integer comma string this is first step and second step is from sql alchemy import session maker by using create engine function we can create engine and by using this engine we can connect to database and in order to connect to this engine we need session maker by using session maker function we can connect to this engine and third step is from sql alchemy dot exe dot declarative import declarative underscore base guys this sql alchemy dot exe dot declarative is sub module in sql alchemy module in order to use this declarative base function we need to import sql alchemy dot exe dot declarative where ext stands for extensible file but what is use of this declarative base function if you consider this example in this example we written python class and in order to convert this python class into database we need declarative base at first what you need to do is you need to store this declarative base function in one variable you can take any variable i am taking variable name as base equal to inside this base variable i want to store declarative base function so just write here declarative underscore base take brackets because it is function now i will write python code in order to create strange table and in order to insert three columns inside strange table so just write here class i am taking class you can give any name i am giving this class name as students because i want to create strange table so i am taking class name as students now inside class you need to write declarative base function this declarative base function is present in variable base so just write here base and by using this declarative base function we can create relational database by using python code 
and give colon. Now I want to create table. The table name is students. And inside table, I want to insert three columns. They are name, rule number, and section. In order to create table, just write here underscore underscore table name underscore underscore that equal to here you need to give table name. I want to give table name as students. So I took here students in quotations. And similarly, now I want to create three columns. One column name is name, next column name is rule number, and next column name is section. Inside name column, I want to enter string value like name Sai, name Raju, name Ramesh, so on. So just I written here name equal to column of string. And similarly, I want to give rule number. Next I written here rule number equal to column of integer. I want to give integer value like I want to enter rule number 21, rule number 22, rule number 5, so on. So I written here rule number equal to column of integer. And similarly, I want to give last column name as section. So, written here section equal to inside section. I want to give section like section A, section B, so on. So, I written here section equal to column of string. Whenever I run this four lines of code, this is output. Now, we will use create engine function in order to create engine. So, just write here I am creating engine. You can take any variable name. I am creating engine. So, I am taking variable name as engine. Engine equal to in order to create engine, we need to use create engine function. So just write here create underscore engine. After writing create underscore engine, just write here I want to create SQLite3 database. So in quotations, write I am writing here SQLite colon triple slash. Here you need to give database name. I want to give database name as students. So just write here students dot db and close this quotations and close bracket. Whenever I run this line of code, it will create database. The database name is students. Now, whatever the table that I created, I want to store this table in this database. So just write here, my entire table is stored in this base. So just write here, base dot capital B A S C base dot metadata dot create underscore all of base is nothing but this table. Now I want to store this table in this database students dot db. This student database is present in variable engine. So inside this just write engine. Meaning of this is whatever the table that is present inside this base. Now I'm storing this table in students.db database. This students.db database is present in variable engine. So I written here engine. Now I want to insert name Sai, rule number 20 and section A. But before that, we need to create session maker. By using session maker, we can connect to database. So that's why I written here from SQL Alchemy import session maker. The session maker is function. By using session maker function, we can connect to this engine. So after writing this, just write here. You can take any variable name. I'm creating session. So I'm taking variable name as session. So just write here session equal to. You need to take session maker function. By using session maker function, we can connect to engine. Engine is nothing but we can connect to my database. So my database is present in variable engine. So just write here bind equal to engine. Bind is nothing but connect. We are connecting to engine by using session maker function. Now in order to perform any operations like in order to insert data or in order to update data or in order to delete data, at first you need to take session function. So I'm taking variable name as s equal to session. Now I want to insert name Sai, rule number 20 and section A in my students table, which is present in students database. So at first my data is transferred to session. After the data is transferred to engine, engine is nothing but data is transferred to my students database. Now I want to insert data. You can take any variable name. I want to insert data. So I'm taking variable name as data equal to my table is present in students class. So I took here students. Insert students class, I want to insert name equal to Sai. So Sai strings, take quotations, comma. I want to insert rule number that is 12, where rule number is integer. So don't take quotations, just write here 12, comma. I want to give section, where section is string. So I took here A in quotations. Now in order to add this data into my database, we need to use add function. My session is present in variable S. So just write here 
is dot add function. I want to add data. This data is present in variable data. So just write here is that add of data. I want to store this data permanently. So by using commit method, you can store data permanently. So just write here is dot commit. So whenever I run this line of code, whatever the data that is present in variable data, this data is passed to variable s. S is nothing but session. Session contains engine. So this data is passed to engine. Now this engine contains strange database. So data is passed from engine variable to strange database. Now data is stored in strange database. This is create operation. Next, similarly, we will perform read operation, update operation and delete operation. Guys, just the same program. In order to create data or in order to read data or in order to update or delete data, all the steps are same. So for each and every program, you need to write all these steps. You need to write till here. For each and every program, you need to write till here. That is S equal to session. This is create operation. Whenever I run this entire code, this is my output. It will create strange database. Inside strange database, it will insert strange table. Strange table contains names i, rule number 20 and section A. Similarly, we will perform read operation. Reading is nothing but whatever the data that is present inside my table, I want to see this data on my output screen. This is meaning of reading. So just instead of writing this, just write here. I want to read data. So I'm taking variable name as r equal to is dot query of I want to read students table. So here in query function, you need to give students and I want to read complete data, which is present in students table. So just write here dot all function. Yes, this is nothing but session. Now, whatever the data that is present inside students table, all this data is present in variable R. So just take here for loop. So just write here for I in R. That is nothing but whatever the data that is present in variable R. Whenever I write here for I in R, all this data is transferred to variable I. Now in order to see output, just write here print I. Just remember these two steps in order to read data. Guys, this is update operation. Update is nothing but, for example, this is my table. My table contains name SAI, rule number 20 and section A. Now I want to change this SAI rule number from 20 to 50. So I'll write program for this. So same program. After S equal to session, just write here. You can take any variable name. I'm updating data. So I'm taking variable name as u equal to s dot query of strings dot filter of strings dot name that equal to SAI dot first. And I want to change this SAI rule number from 20 to 50. So just my data is present in variable u. So just write here u dot rule number equal to 50. So whenever you write here u dot rule number of 50, it will change SAI rule number from 25 to 50. Now it will change SAI rule number from 20 to 50. In order to commit above operation, just write here h dot commit. This is update operation. Now last one is delete operation. I want to delete this entire row. I want to delete. So I'm taking variable name as D. D equal to same program. So write this same line of code. Just in place of writing u dot rule number equal to 50, just write here is yes, dot delete of my table name is strength. So just write here strength space del that is delete. So whenever I run these three lines of code, it will delete data which is present in strength table. This is how we perform CRUD operations by using SQL alchemy. Guys from unit 5, ORM CRUD operations and API CRUD operations are very important. Pakka one question will come in exam. We will perform ORM CRUD operations by using SQL alchemy module. And similarly, we will perform API CRUD operations by using SQLite3 module. So, lend these two modules.